It's a freaking Deku Baba in that one. So basically what we have to do right now is do a donation subquest. Oh, can't get upstairs with Epona, apparently. So let's get off and head in. So right now we have to do is donate a thousand rupees to a man, as well as give in some bugs. So I'm actually gonna write down how much I'm donating to this fella. Okay, so he's right here. His name is Charlo. Charlo? Charlo? I don't know. So let's donate 50 rupees at a time. It's repetitive. That's for sure. So that should be 175. No, I can't. So 150 so far. So let's go and we're gonna meet somebody new now. So we gotta go to south, the south spot, right? Actually, there is actually one more thing that we actually can do. Uh, I was actually supposed to go that way, but there are a couple of bugs that we can get, I think. This way, one bug or two. Let's do that first. Down here. Down this way, young one. So, okay, I know where I'm going here. So there are rupees and a bug that we can get. Just have to remember exactly where it is. I think it's over here. Yep, you can see it, f like, glitching through the side. So this is a female ladybug. Can we get the male here, though? Yes, we can. So the male one is all the way over here. Right... over here in this little array of flowers, I guess. Um, one thing that we can also do is defeat all these Gwei. Climb up all this ivy... up, oh, not right. So climb up and defeat all of these guys and we'll get a little present. Takes seven years, though. I don't think we've been in this part of Hyrule Field. What? I did not mean to do that. Ugh. So maybe, would it be? Yeah, we can just do this. Wow, this isn't too bad. Nice setup we got going here. There's a bunch of them, though. Holy crap, there's so many. I don't- I didn't even know I got two there, so I wasn't prepared. Wow, I got three just came at me there. So is that all of them? Yeah, so a bunch of rupees falls out of the sky. Which is awesome. Ugh. So how many is here, actually? Uh, about... About 60. No, about 40. Maybe about 30. <laughs> So let's blow up this rock as well. And we'll get another, like, 30 rupees. 40, maybe. Alright, so let's head back into Castle Town and we're gonna give away... our some of our bugs, so we can get that heart piece. Seven years later... Millions of steps passed. We finally made it. Into... Hey, what is it, Dan? So, Agatha is over here. We haven't been in this spot before. That is a fortune teller's place. I don't think we have to go inside it. Not really much we can do. Let's head in here. So, this is Agatha's castle. It's like a really cool, like, I don't know how to say it, it's like an outside area from the inside. So, she thought it was a grasshopper, Majora's Mask reference. Blah 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 blah. Agatha, 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but they got lost or something? I don't know. So yeah, she wants us to bring them here. So this is the entire point of the bugs in the game. So let's, 
So we give her one bug, we get 50 rupees. So yeah. Actually, we give her the first bug, she gives us a wallet. A big wallet, yeah, so this holds up to 600 rupees, which is awesome. So now if we give her the second pair... She gives us... She gives us... 100 rupees. So from now on, the first bug gives you 50. The next bug gives you 100. So 150 in each pair. So let's just donate some of these until we get 600 rupees, or close to it. So yeah, see 50 rupees. So let's give the other pair here of the... I guess it's the beetles? Yeah. Blah blah blah. Give me my hundred rupees. So yeah. It's a good way to get money. We're gonna give it away anyway. Alright, so give away the mantis. Fifty rupees. Then the other mantis. Hundred rupees. Come on. Okay, so here's the next pair for a hundred. All right. Okay, so I only have a hundred left, so I'm gonna give her the first pair, or the first of the pair, and then... There. Alright, so this will give us 50 rupees. We won't have enough room to take the other one. We'd just be wasting the hundred. So let's go back to Charlo, or Charlo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and donate all of this money to him. Oh, <laughs> she's creepy. I know you have bugs. Okay, sorry, I had to respond to something there. Anyway, let's go back to Charlo. He's over in the eastern part of Hyrule Castle Town. What? Wait. <laughs> what? I had no idea that happened. I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> anyway, that was a pretty cool, like, little mini game or whatever. I don't know what you would call it. Okay, so let's donate all this money, seven hours later. So, 50 ru I don't know why it's 30. It could be 25, which would make more sense. You know what? I'm gonna do 30, 30, 30 for this one right here because it goes down... Yeah. It'll be... I'll, I'll be eventually donating more, which is good. So, I am donating... 590 here. So I have to write this down so that... I know when to stop giving her bugs. Because I don't want to waste all this money because we pick up a lot of money on our adventure. So this means we've been donating... 740 rupees so far, so we only need 260. After I'm done donating this, of course. Alright, so now let's go get 240 rupees, right? 740, yeah. So 260 rupees. So that's gonna be two pairs. Actually, it should only be 
Yeah, one, yeah, two pairs. So I'm giving the pair now, and then I'll give it another one, and I should, I should be good. Again, the reason why I'm not donate, I'm not giving her all the bugs now, is because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to hold all the rupees and have them go to waste. Look, you can see the bugs are around now. That is so awesome. That is so cool. All right. Yes. Let's give her the pair of stag beetles, are they? Yeah. She's gonna give us a hundred for this, right? Yeah, so... Yep, just one more. Pair. No! Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to do one more pair, and then one bug. So, I guess it works. I'm gonna have a little... a little, uh, bit... extra rupees. So I'm at 200 and... Wow. I'm gonna go find four rupees. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Where can I find rupees fast? I guess I can go back through the south. Exit and uh, see if that boulder's still there. Let's see if the boulder is still here. The, there's a Poe over there, but we can't do anything about it. I can't jump over these, can I? Nope. It won't let me. Even though you could in real life. Dang it, Zelda. Okay, let's see if there's anything over here. It's gonna be like Minish Cap. Yep. Where I'm not gonna get any rupees from anywhere. I'm gonna have to grind for 17 years. Oh, there's three. There we go. So I guess it makes sense why they did 30 instead of 25, now that I think about it. It's working to my ben benefit now, so... Yeah, I'm happy with it then. Alright, so let's head back up. Can I cut these flowers? Purely for... vanity, I guess? I don't know. All right, let's go give the rest of this money to Charlo. Charlo, you can't see the people through the door. It's kind of weird. Unless there's no people, there is no people. <laughs> okay, everything is empty. But Char Charlo is still here, and you can see him through the, the load screen there, which is cool. Yep, yeah, I'll donate 60 rupees right off the bat, and then I'll do start doing uh, 50. Okay. So, if I'm correct, this should be it. Like, this 200 should be it. Come on! The last 50! What? So, wait. I don't, donated 150, and then 590, so that should equal... 740. Then I donated 260. What? 740 plus 260 is 1000. Am I stupid? Am I do am I being stupid here? I'll try another 50, I guess. That's weird. What if he just needs like 2 rupees? Man, that'd be impossible though. Probably only needs 30 or something. I don't know. Alright, I'll give you one more bug. One more bug, that's all. Hi. 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll give her 50, and then that's it. Give him 50. That's it. So I guess, I think she just said I only need 13 more bugs, so. That's nice. No more collecting after the bugs, which, well, actually there will be. All right, let's go, Chilo. Give me, give me my hot piece after this fifty rupees, please. Oh no, we're good now. That was it. I guess that's all we needed. It was pretty cool. So we got actually that's that's our sixteenth piece of heart, right? But it filled us up. That doesn't make sense. Did I miss a piece of heart? I hope I didn't. Oh, that is our 15th piece of heart. Wait. Okay, yeah, that is our 15th piece of heart. Oh, crap. I labeled them wrong. I'm an idiot. Anyway, uh, let's back go back down to Telma's bar now. Okay, so Thomas Bar is in the south, right down here. Now we're gonna progress in the story bit. Oh, this part. I not a big fan of this part. I mean it's not too bad, but kinda sucks. Alright, so that is a Zora child, blah blah blah. Friggin' weird looking, that's the, uh, doctor. Hello? So, it's Ilya. Friggin' Link's like, Oh my god! Hey, Turok90, how's it going? So here we have Telma, Ilya, and the Zora child. Human doctor won't do, blah blah blah. Okay. So, that old coot reminded me though, there's a shaman in Kakariko Village in the Elden Lands who tended Gorons and Zoras. So that is Renato. And they want to take the Zora child there. Apparently it's too, too dangerous. And these guys want to escort them. Okay. <laughs> To reach Kakariko, we've got to cross two planes that are each infested by dangerous beasts. Okay, now they're being a bunch of wieners. <laughs> yeah. I can do it, I have a sword and shield. Looks like we've got one young swordsman left. I will help. Not only that, but it looks like the brave young man will escort us. We gotta go, pronto. You know that girl, don't you? Yep. That's Ilya. It's a real shame she can't even remember her own name right now. Wow. That sucks. That sucks. She won't remember me. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road, so she did all she could to save him. More courage in that girl than in all soldiers of high roll for sure. You lend your strength to her, you hear me? You hear me? Why is it zooming in on the cat? It makes no sense. So now what we have to do is escort them back to Kakariko Village. Back to Kakariko. And as we'll see there, Lord Bulblin, er, King Bulblin is waiting for us which is fun so we got to get there and i got to beat him again <laughs> he's missing a side of his horn i guess he broke it off in his descent from the bridge of elden was it the bridge of elden no that was the hillier bridge 
What the heck is this bridge? Is this the bridge of... Bah? The bridge of Hyrule? Alright, so that's such a cool transition. Ilya. Thank you so much for this. What's your name? My name is Link, you idiot! You know me! Colton? I will never in all my life forget your kind- <laughs> You already did forget my kindness. So, save thanks until we get to Kakariko, yeah. Yeah, you're right. The swordsman has great eyes. Like a- like a beast. I'm a beast. You're darn tootin'. Let's get to Kakariko Village. Let's get to Kakariko. Just stop with the cutscenes, okay? Stop with the formalities. I just want to go and beat this guy again. Let's go! <laughs> you had it to roll, Colton? Yes. Actually, we're not rolling. Well, you are actually. I'm not. So, this little mini game is pretty kind of cool, kind of annoying. But it really shows off, like, the stuff that you can do on the horse. Because, uh, in the previous games, you were limited. Oh, this is the Hylia Bridge. So did we beat him on the Elden Bridge before? I, I don't even know. Yeah, we did, because he fell in, like, the pit. Alright. So, let me turn this down. My headset's a little loud. Alright, so he's got some new shields now. I'm dropping frames. And it's just not stopping. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Should be good now, though. So what we have to do now is actually take out... Whoops, that's not our item bar. Take out our normal arrows. That's not our arrows! Oh no! Yeah, controls are weird. Alright, so. Let's go now, do it. Like normal, if I can use my Wii sensor bar. So yeah, just do that, and that's all this fight is. Alright. That's all it is. Two arrows. <laughs> right to the chest, and he's done. He's so weak. Alright, so we got the gate keys, which is going to be useful later, because if you remember, the, uh, Kakariko Village gate is locked. <laughs> keep up the good work? Yeah, 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 let's just keep going. Now we can take out this. Uh, because we're going to need it to help later on. They're so slow. I wish they'd go faster. So as you can see, there's fire arrows and stuff, so we're gonna use the, uh... the Gale Boomerang to actually put out fires on the, uh, what do you call it? On the carriage. Like that. Not too bad. Uh, there's also going to be stuff falling from the sky that we're going to have to get out of the way. So, yeah. Oh, these- this gate is closed, too. Okay. Apparently something's using my CPU. Hold on a second. And it's causing me to drop frames. Hold on, I'll- Close a bunch of chrome windows since chrome is a piece of junk sometimes. Hopefully, this helps it. Alright, so we open the door yet? Yeah. Whoa! No, let me get back to opponent. Jeez! What are you doing? Okay, come on. Oh no, they stopped, so that's good. Get going. So, these guys up here. The Kargorox will... Hey 
Come on, get closer. Get closer. There we go. So I got to... Ah, oh, friggin' no! Ah, oh, they're gonna veer off course now because of that stupid thing. Yep, now they're going off course because of that dang bold one. Yeah, I can't stop these frames from dropping right now. There we go. So yeah, I guess the Gale Boomerang will work. Nice. Hey, I blocked one from hitting that that time. Oh my god, that's annoying. Oh my god, Epona. Everything's messing it up. So that should hit it, right? There, hit that wall instead. That's good. So, I think the most important thing I have to look out for is the cargo rocks. Get out of the way! Ugh. Good, they're going into the walls and not into me. Stop it! Stop it! Oh my god. Just let me run over it! It's like somehow they get faster and run into me. Okay, so yeah, we should be good now. Right at the end of the road. Get away. Stop being annoying. Can you guys, like... No, I... There we go. Easy. There. Are we good now? Uh, can, can I go in? That was annoying. <laughs> Alright, so now we're back in Kakarika Village. Kakariko. So Colin was worried for the... He was worried for the other guy, his well, blah, 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 and Ilya. Because the knowledge grieves you, it must be an awful memory. I'll stay with him until he's better, no matter how long it takes. So yeah. Is that so? Thank you, Colin. His mouth didn't even move there, I didn't even think it was him talking. So there's Ludacris. Famous rapper. <laughs> so dumb. Alright, so now what does she have to say to us? So about Ilya. Is it true what they said about her? Yeah, she lost your memory. Regaining it would be no simple task. It'll be alright, child. We just give her some time, I'm sure they will find her heart again. Give her heart peace. So Colin, I'd like to ask you to stay in this village until then. It is our turn to show the courage that you have already displayed. God, he's so happy. Such a brave child. Hmm. Still hope here. Results for paying efforts. Blah, blah, blah. The skills of yours, any chance you're... I am putting them to use for high rule. What hope is there in a kingdom so frail is frail and dying, and there's still a group trying to do what it can. And I'm a member of that group. Okay. Call me Telma. Okay, I already said her name. I didn't know it took this long to introduce herself. She so to stay here a bit longer and still read about Ilya, and well, never mind about the rest. Blah, blah, blah. Her uh, earrings look like rupees. Some roops. Are they roops? Maybe. I want to see you again at my bar, do you hear me? Condoning? Well, like, child alcohol consumption? There's a passageway that leads to the castle from in there as well. Okay. That's good to know. We'll need that for the future, probably. If you ever need anything to stop by, I'll be waiting for you. Okay. 
Ew. Alright, so do we have another cutscene to go, or...? Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. The Zora Queen Nutella. I think we already spoke to her before in Zora's Domain. Nutella. So let's follow her now. Hello? What do you want from me? Stop running away! This is unfair! How do we play tag if you run faster than me? Alright. Let's keep following her. Alright, so she's gonna lead up us up here into the, uh... Graveyard, and there's a gravestone here or something like that. A boulder with, uh... The Zora mark. Oh, what's gonna happen? So she's gonna make it disappear and we're gonna crawl through the crawl space. What is this awkward of time? Were there any crawl spaces in Majora's Mask? I can't remember. Alright, so we're in a little, like, secluded grove or whatever you want to call it. It's got a Zora grave. So, like she was saying before, she's dead. <laughs> and so is the king. Are you gonna let me jump in? So let's go over and see if we can move the grave, or maybe talk to her? I'm deeply grateful to you for aiding my son in his time of need. You were right to bring him here. Kakari Village is a safer place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband and life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my son has found salvation in this place. Take that which I promised you is within this grave. So she's given us that armor, remember? During his lifetime, my husband created garments specifically for the chosen hero that houses the ability of the Zora. So yeah, this is going to be the Zora armor, which is so useful. So useful! You got Zora armor. So we can move freely through the water, but we'll be more vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Which is pretty cool. I mean, it's understandable. So yeah. Tell him his mother loves him. Okay, so. So it's a good thing you find us. I don't care. The last few shadows. Obviously, jeez. Midnight, stop. Stop it. So we're gonna put on the Zora armor and test it out. Oh yeah, we can swim. We can swim now. Up. So yeah, it's normal swimming. But before we can do anything here, we have to go back to Kakariga Village and go to Barnes Bomb Shop. Let's go! Because remember, he has those bombs that we can use in the water. Water bombs. So let's go. We only have three rupees. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I think we'll be able to, uh, to buy them with a, by selling our other bomb bag, like the full, you know... I love the music in this area, it's so good. Hello. Hello, we want to sell bombs. So. So I'll give him this one. Just because it's more rupees. And now... No. And now we'll buy water bombs. As you can see there, they're like a fish. A bomb with a fish around it. So yeah, we can just use those underwater. We get... Oh my god, they're so expensive. 30 for 5. Wow, that's crazy. So that's all we need, 5. I don't... I'll pick them up somewhere else, I guess. It's crazy if you think we're gonna buy those for that much. Who do you think we are? Rich people, jeez. Alright, so let's head back over to the grave. I think, right? Yeah. Uh. Uh. 
Come on. So, we could go this way. What I'm doing here is there's a spot under the water, there's a bo some boulders. Uh, you break the boulders, and it makes a passage to somewhere. And I'm gonna find out where that is. I forget. I think it's in, uh... I think it's in Hylia, or Hyrule Field. We will see. Let's jump down! Oh, that's not the item button. I keep... I'm playing so many different Zelda games at once. So we can't use... Can I sink to the bottom? Okay, so it's inverted controls, so I gotta get used to that. Can I just stand? I can. I have iron boots. I'm an idiot. Get away from here! Ugh! So I could go blow up that one, but I only have five. Five bombs, and I don't want to waste them. So I want to see what's through here. I believe this is Hyrule Field. Oh, we're in Lake Hylia. Yeah, so we don't want to be here yet. Did I make a mistake? Yes, I did. Oh, well, that's not a big deal, I guess. So... Uh, no! Let me up there! So yeah, this is not where we had to be. We actually had a spot that we could get to. To get another item. Wait, what the heck? Where are we? Okay, here we are, yeah. So yeah. Um, so this is going to conclude the Twilight Princess part of the stream. Right up next, we're going to play some Minish Cap. <laughs>